All right, David Harry here. And in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is that you can actually use a Thunderbolt 4 cable with your Samsung S23 Ultra or indeed any Android phone that uses USB-C. So what I'm gonna be doing here is using a traditional USB-C cable, obviously comparing it to the Thunderbolt 4 cable, and I will be using a Samsung T7 external SSD to do the actual data transferring and stuff like that. So let me just get into this and I will come back at the end and do a quick summary. Okay, so before I get into this then, let me just explain what I've got on the table. So the first thing is the SSD itself, which is the Samsung Samsung T7. This is the one terabyte variety. Now there's the phone, which is obviously the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And here I've got two cables. Now this first cable at the top here, this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. And as we should be able to see there on the end, it says 10 gigabits per second. So basically a 10 gigabits per second USB-C to USB-C cable. Now the important thing to note about this particular cable here is the length of it. It is a very short cable. Now on that note, what it is, the longer the cable gets, the light, like the less efficient it becomes at being able to like, you know, transmit data down the cable. And indeed, if you go too long on a cable, it will no longer be able to transmit data. So nonetheless, the shorter the cable like this one is, the better it is at transmitting data. Now, if we have a look here, I've also got a Thunderbolt 4 cable. So if I just get it into shot here, hopefully we can see this on a zoom in. That is a Thunderbolt 4 cable, which is denoted by the Thunderbolt sign and the number four there. Now, if I turn it the other way around, and if I get that into shot, as we can see, this is by Cal Digit. So this is a proper official Thunderbolt 4 cable. Now, before I go any further, one thing to note here is the phone itself can only do five gigabits per second on its USB-C port. So obviously, this cable here being 40 gigabits per second and the USB-C cable being 10 gigabits per second both of these cables are faster than what the data bus is on the USB-C port on the phone itself so effectively here neither of these cables can become a bottleneck and indeed the actual storage with inside the phone itself isn't capable of hitting five gigabits per second anyway so within any tests like these like you know the the, the lowest common denominator is going to be the slowest storage which is inside the phone itself Itself. So as you can see here, everything is as like as perfect as it could be for doing this type of test. Now, just a couple of things on the phone itself here. If I just show you this here, as we will see, everything is switched off on the phone. I'm basically in flight mode, so there's no Wi-Fi on. There's no Bluetooth on. There's obviously no mobile data going on, and the phone can't do tethering either because obviously mobile data is off as well as a bunch of other things being off. So essentially, this phone is as quiet as it can be as far as like a whole bunch of that stuff's concerned. However, all that stuff being switched on still would not like, you know, interrupt the test like this, but I'm doing it this way nonetheless. Now, if I come back here and go back here, if I have a look here, there are no apps running, okay? So absolutely nothing on this phone running in the background to do with like, you know, Wi-Fi, wireless, anything like that. And also there are no open apps. So now what I'm going to do is open up the files app here. Now, just to be clear, I am doing this all in one take okay so i'm bound to fluff something up here or like you know repeat myself or do something mad but the thing is at least we know it's being done in one take so there's no way i can be fudging anything here not that i would but i have been accused of it in, in like in previous videos anywho so if we have a look here i will look at the internal storage on the phone and there is no like files in the root of the storage here. That is where I'm going to be copying the file to that I'll be using. Now, if I come back here, if we have a look at the phone storage, the phone has actually got 512 gigabytes of storage. However, I'm only using 89 gigabytes or so of storage here. So the phone has got over 400 gigabytes of free space. So anything like, you know, the amount of space on the phone is concerned, that definitely can't interfere with the 
test. And also, with this being the 512 gigabytes version, I think if there is going to be any speed differences, it probably goes to the advantage of the phone with the largest storage. So once again, all that stuff's covered so we know exactly what's going on. So what I'm going to do here, let me just move that cable up there for a second. So what I'm going to do now is do the USB-C cable, like, you know, data test. So what I'm going to do here is plug it into the T7. Now, it doesn't matter if you plug the cable into the external drive first and then into the phone. doesn't matter which way around you do that. And then I'm going to plug this into the phone. There we go. Now, what should happen here shortly is that the, the drive, there we go, the drive's now popped up here. Now, if we have a look on the drive itself, as we will see, it's got 67 gigabytes or so used, and that's because that's the file that's on the drive. But as you can see, with it being a one terabyte drive, this has got over 900 gigabytes of available space on it, you know, after we, like, you know, take that file off. So essentially, the SSD is as blank as it can be, you know what I mean? So once again, we can't run into issues of like the SSD being filled up and maybe slowing down and stuff like that. So let me go into here. So what I'm going to do is copy this file to the internal storage of the phone. Now, let me just get my stopwatch in the equation here. Okay, so there's the stopwatch in the frame. So what I'm going to do is copy that file there. So I'll hit copy and then I'm going to paste it to the internal storage. So obviously what we're doing here is moving the file from the T7 to the phone, okay? So what I'm gonna do is hit copy here and hit start, and hopefully I can do those at the same time and hit both of them as well. And then what we'll do, we will time it to see how long it takes. So give me a moment. Okay, I managed to do that. Hey, that's good. Okay, so right now what we're doing here is transferring that file from the T7 to the phone's internal storage. Now what I'm going to do here is just to speed up through this, then I will come back in at the end once that file gets close to copying over and we will take a timing of how long it takes. Okay, I'm gonna come back in here and get ready to hit stop on the stopwatch as soon as that file is transferred. There we go. Okay, so that was five minutes and 29 seconds. So let me just make a note of this on my piece of paper. So 529. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the reverse. So what we're gonna do is move the file from the S23 Ultra to the T7. So what I'm going to do here then is Go to the T7. I'm going to delete that file from the T7 there. So I'm going to hit delete. Okay, give us a sec. There it goes. Now, with this being an external storage device, I don't think we have to clear the recycle bin, but we'll have a look anyway. So no, there's no data in the recycle bin. There, so that's all good. So what I'm going to do now is copy the internal or copy from the internal storage of the phone to the T7. So I'm going to copy the file there. So I'm going to hit copy. Now I'm just going to reset the phone there. I'm going to go to the T7. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing, paste and hit start. So if you give me a second, so copy here and start, hold on. Boom, there we go, managed to hit it right as well at the same time. What it is sometimes in my tests when I do this, I don't trigger one of them and like you know so the, the the watch will go off or you know the the file will go off without the other one starting but I did really well there hitting the pair of them at the same time. Okay so once again what I'm going to do is to speed through this and we will get the timing at the end to see how quickly it does it. Okay I'm going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop again. Stop. Okay, so we're gonna call that three minutes and 21 seconds. So let me just make a note of this, hold on. So three minutes and 21 seconds. Oops, there goes me pen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is prep the test to do it with the Thunderbolt 4 cable here. So what I'm gonna do is just hit reset on the phone. Let me just get that out the way for a second. Now, what I'm going to do is come back here I'm gonna to go to the external drive and I'm going to hit unmount. Okay, so there's the external drive now unmounted. So I will unplug the drive, hold on. Let me go back there. And then I will just take the cable out. There's the drive, there's the cable. Now, 
Let me just undo this Thunderbolt 4 cable here. Give me a moment. Like I say, this is all being done in real time just so you can see exactly what's going on. So once again, I'm going to connect the SSD via this cable. Hold on, it's a longer cable. Actually, this one's getting a bit in the way for me. Give me a second. So let me just get that over there. I want to try and do this so there's no kink in the cable so I can't like you know so I'm not messing in the frame and stuff right all done so let me just plug that in fact wait there before I plug it in let me just go to the files here and what we will see is the drive pop up again once I connect this cable okay so this should pop up momentarily there we go there's the file uh, sorry there's the the external drive there so let me just get the phone back into the shot now what i'm going to do here is to do the exact same testing in the same order so what i'm going to do is go from the t7 to the s23 ultra first which basically means i've got to go to the internal storage of the phone and delete that file first so I mean, I don't have to delete it, but I'm going to just so that, you know, we can rule out any weirdness on this. Actually, just give me one second. Right, what it is, because I'm doing this in real time, somebody's FaceTiming me on my iPad there. I'm going to ignore it just so I can continue this in one take. You'll hear that ringing just for a little bit. It will go away. I'm sorry about this. I should have put that into bloody, like, you know, plane mode or whatever it's called anyway so what i'm going to do is delete that file there so move to recycle bin okay so that's now gone from the internal storage and my ipad stopped ringing okay so what i'm going to do now is go to the recycle bin as we will see it's in there so i'm going to empty the recycle bin let me just delete the recycle bin there then i'll come out of here and then I will just momentarily go back into the recycle bin just so that we know it's definitely gone. And then what we'll do, we'll have a look at the internal storage. The file is definitely not there. So we're all nice and clean again as far as the phone is concerned. Now on this point as well, I've, I've seen other comments where people are going, I should be switching the phone off and on and stuff like that in between deleting files. That is not how it works, right? Here's the thing, if you had to switch your phone off and on in between any time it done anything, which would include opening apps and closing apps, you know, you you wouldn't. It's it's just simply believe me. It's not how it works. The memory is being flushed, and so is the cache and everything. This is exactly what you do to do such tests and stuff. You don't have to switch and and like you know power cycle the phone or anything like that. Okay, so once again, what I'm going to do is do the first test, which is going to be from the T7 to the internal storage of the phone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit copy here. Where are we? Copy. Then I'm going to come back here. I'll go to the internal storage there. Obviously, that wasn't the internal storage. That's the internal storage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get ready to paste there. So I'm going to hit copy and then start. So let me just do... Okay, as we can see, I have totally messed that up. Let me reset. Like I've said, I'm doing this in real time. So as much as what I might come across as a bit of an idiot, at least you know it's being done properly. Let me do that again. So let me just go back here. I'll go back to the storage. I will tap the storage, uh, tap the file in the storage, hit copy, go back, go back to the internal storage. I've reset there. So copy here and start. Hold on. Okay, so I managed to do it properly that time. <laughs> right, as we can see there, I've left this I've left this messing up in the video. And it is strictly just to show people that yes, it is all being done in real time. There's no no weirdness or shenanigans going on. Now I know this doesn't come across good or sound good or it doesn't look highly polished or anything but at least you know what is what exactly has gone on here okay so what i'm going to do is once again speed through this and i will get the timing at the end okay so i'm going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop so if you give us a moment stop Okay, so that was 5 minutes and 28 seconds. Let me just make a note of that. Okay, so there's my note for that done. Now what I'm going to do is obviously the other way around, which is the S23 Ultra to the T7. So what that means is I go to the T7. 
let's see there we go I'll delete that file so let me delete the file now once again it doesn't appear in the bin but we'll, we'll just do it anyway to be thorough so we'll go to the recycle bin as we can see there's nothing there okay now let me just reset the phone so I'm gonna go to the internal storage I'm gonna copy the file from there so there's copy and let's see if I can do this one correctly and hit the buttons at the same time. <laughs> so I go now to the T7, and then I will do copy and start, hopefully at the same time. Give me a second. Boom. Yay, I've done it. I deserve a Blue Peter badge. Okay, so what I'm going to do here once again is to speed up, and we will get a timing at the end. Okay, I'm going to come back in here and hit stop. Hold on, stop. Okay, so that was 3 minutes and 27 seconds. So let me just write that down. Hold on. 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just come up with some kind of a title with all the final, like, you know, numbers on and let's have a quick look. Okay, so as far as these final timings are concerned, using the USB-C cable, Going from the T7 to the S23 Ultra took 5 minutes and 29 seconds. And then going from the S23 Ultra to the T7 took 3 minutes and 21 seconds. And then when I used the Thunderbolt 4 cable, going from the T7 to the S23 Ultra took 5 minutes and 28 seconds. And going from the S23 Ultra to the T7 took 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay, so to an end summary then. And this one should be quite quick because what we have just seen there is that, yes, a Thunderbolt 4 cable is totally compatible with not just the Samsung S23 Ultra here, but it will be totally compatible with any Android device that supports USB-C. Now, yes, one of the cables was slightly faster going one way and then the other cable was slightly faster going the other way but that is just down to margin of error and I can absolutely guarantee you that if I were to rerun those tests again we would definitely still see some slight differences within those numbers by a few seconds here and there but we would probably also see that it might flip the other way around it literally is just margin of error and these tests are never ever identical anytime you repeat them over a number of times so bottom line yes of course you can use a Thunderbolt 4 cable with an S23 Ultra or indeed any Android device which uses USB-C. Now what's important to understand here is that those previous videos where the iPhone 15 Pro Max was absolutely beating the S23 Ultra in the speed test was nothing to do with the cable. It was simply to do with the fact that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has got much faster internal storage than what the S23 does and that's the reason why it basically outright beat it in those tests anyways that will just about do it for this video and as ever there will be amazon links in the video description below for all the stuff that i've used in the video now if you've liked the video please do give it a thumbs up and if you super like the video then please do subscribe to the channel and get all over that bell notification icon for videos similar to this in the future i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now